Okay, so now, um, I was the kid which other parents wanted their kids to be like. I was that of a good kid, the nerd kid. So I would know all the math tables, you know, all the way up to 12, you know, when I was like a baby. I would get the top grades in my school. You know, I was reading all the time. I would never take summers off. I would bring those textbooks home for the next semester and read those textbooks. I was that kid. I did my PhD in neuroscience. I was in the lab all the time. I was sitting down all the time. I was not sleeping well. I was eating nuggets and fries every day for years or burgers and fries every day for years or Taco Bell every day. Like it was just a really horrible, horrible health experience during my PhD. But I learned how to read scientific papers. I did really fucking well. I was the best student at the Institute. I was the guy they called when someone came in and needed a, a tour or someone who, when they needed someone to talk about the Institute, they called on me. I won all the awards. You know, I won the teaching awards, the travel awards, the research awards. I was that guy even in grad school. So I've always been raised and grown up to be a really, really good academic. Sex wise, no. Girls wise, no. I was always kept away from girls. I was always, no, I was not allowed to spend the night at someone's place. I was not allowed to go to camps. I was not allowed to have friends outside of my religious community. So, you know, very, very conservative environment. And here's the thing, man. When you grow up and you're actually happy, right? You're, you, like, I was actually happy at that time as a kid. I was getting awesome grades. I was making my parents proud. Inside, my brain was happy, like my body was happy. Even though, you know, I didn't look good, I looked nerdy, I didn't dress well, I sounded like a girl. My, my parents always, you know, when they did dirty jokes, they would always say, ah, Farhan, ah, Farhan thinks he got it. Ah, look at this. And I fucking hated that. Like, I hated my parents for that. You know, they were telling me that I don't get sex jokes. I mean, obviously, I didn't, but I still hated them for that, right? So during that time, I just want to convey to you, I was actually happy. So as you're listening to this, and you're someone who is kind of like content with their life, just ask yourself a question. Like, is it going to stay that way? Is it sustainable? Because I didn't ask myself that. That is this actually sustainable for me? I just kept going until it was too late, until I had limited, until I couldn't perform, until I couldn't get turned on when I saw hot girl, until I was addicted to porn for 20 years. I realized really late. So a lot of you, I want you to learn from me and not spend years and years and decades trying to figure shit out. I want you to figure it out in three months from now. 